Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're heading into the 2020 Orlando International Auto Show in sunny Florida. Florida. What's up? Good morning. Yeah, it's early, huh? All right, check it out. We got our new shirts on. Just done. EMC. Fresh. Except fresh, man. He went old school. Fresh. All right, we're gonna head in. Let's go see what we can get into. Okay, we made it. We're inside the 2020 Orlando International Auto Show. And we're right here at uh, Alfa Romero right now. There's some behind us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk around here, see what we got, and then kind of like go back to a few things and kind of spotlight those guys. Backseat Tommy, you ready to go see some cars? <laughs> okay, we got a cool little Jeep uh, track set up up here. We're gonna go and check this thing out. I see Jeeps running up and down everything. So Jeep Nation, if you're on here and watching this, check it out, baby. color on this Jeep. That's pretty. Some type of midnight blue. Alright, we're waiting on right now is this Cherokee to come through. Last time it did, it was down one wheel up, three wheels on. So I want to see if we get this. I think that was pretty peaceful. Alright, here comes the Cherokee again. Let's see what it does this time. Look at that. Come on. Get that wheel up. Let's see. Come on, come on, Jeep Nation. Show us what you got. Boom, look at that. Look at that. Ah! Yeah. That's badass right there. Oh, that's All right, well, that's it for Jeep. We're right there. Jeep camp. That was a pretty cool display. What do you think? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Jeep, thumbs up for that. that that's the way you bring it to a show. We're going to go around and see what else we got. There is a new Supra back there, which we will get to. It's pretty nice. I don't know what the specs on it yet, but we're definitely going to check that thing out. I think we got, right now, Acura coming up. So let's go cruise by Acura. I see a nice, nice red car here. It looks like a nice NSX. Come on, let's go check it out. color on this NXX. Wow, can you pick that up? I'm hoping you guys have seen it. This is a gorgeous freaking color, man. This color is just sweet. The Acura NSX is a bad, tough car. Over 500 horsepower sitting in this, plus you got the electric motors in the front. I'm telling you guys, this is a sweet car. I have no idea why it hasn't done better than this. Can't get too good in the interior because the doors are locked, but Look at that spec colored seats there, nice. Oh, let's go check this out guys, you know what that is. GTR. This 2020 Nissan GTR. Premium. Guys, this price here, not bad. The stickers at 125. I like these rims. Nice. Big huge brakes on this. It's a light car too. These brakes are huge for such a light car. Let's check it out. And I really, really love Oh, it's the 50th anniversary model. I didn't know that. Wow, awesome. Here's what I really love about the GTR, though. I see this a lot here. These exhaust tips being blued on the end, I think this adds such a level of sports, sportsmanship and class. I mean, it's just like, it just screams sports. Like, you know, like, this is a sport car. This is a sportsman sports car. This is bad right here, guys. GTR 50th edition premium. All right, let's take a walk over here to Lexus now. LC500. God, this color spec is like throughout everyone so far. There's more of these colors. I got to tell you though, it's beautiful. That's why. This is the only car that keeps catching my eyes. And remember this, guys. I am colorblind. So I have no idea what this color really is. It's some type of red, but I love it. To me, it's awesome. We 
got the LC500 behind us. Uh, Tommy, what do you think about this one? Oh, I love it. I mean, I've been interested in them a lot lately, but with the color spec on it, it's, it's a sell for me. Yeah, I kind of, I'm telling you what, um, we did look at these. I like them a lot. I think it's a bad car, very classy. Good job, Lexus. Very good job. All right, Tommy, I'm going to get in there and check this baby out. What do you see immediately on here? What jumps, you know, what grabs your attention? Probably the uh, little bit of suede they put in up here on the front of the steering wheel. Um, and then the dash. That's hard to ignore. You can't ignore the dash. Got a little touchpad in the middle. A little remote right here. What do you got there? Oh, it's a shifter. That's okay. the shifter? I think so, yeah. Looks like a little joystick, like yeah, play does. video games, maybe? They might have taken it off. They got Miss sure. Pac-Man all set up in this baby? <laughs> Atari. This is, this is sweet. Atari, right? Ooh, we got suede all the top here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Nice. You got back seats in this thing, too, huh? Uh, yeah. Little ones, you, you know. bench back there. Huh? I said you got a bench back there. Yeah? Not bad. That's the extra luggage spots. All right, nice car, but here you go. Here's the kick on this one for me. When we're sitting there looking at a price tag like this, and you compare that around what's on the market, this does not have a soft touch door, or soft closed door, I should say. That feature's really good. I just think that's something it should have for that price. But overall, it's still a beautiful car. Beautiful rims, beautiful colors, nice design, sexy, the grill's awesome. Interiors just nice. This really, there's so much detail and attention to detail, but that that's the, that's the thing they kicked off and they missed. They, they just missed that. Who loves the Lexus grills? Guys, you love the Lexus grills? Comment below. See a thumbs up if you love this Lexus grill. Lincoln. Oh yeah, BMW and making our way, Honda, Ford over there, let's go check it out. You guys want to drive a Hyundai? Well, I guess you want to drive like him. <laughs> guys, whatever you do, don't do that. That's not the way to drive. Uh, he's back at his little Hyundai race car. Okay, what we're gonna do, since everyone's giving things away here, let's go ahead and say, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away one of our new shirts we just had made. And what you gotta do to be eligible for that is one, be a subscriber. Two, we need you to go to our Instagram page, like it, and tag two of your friends. Exotic Muscle Car 2019. Exotic Muscle Cars 2019. We will put the link up here. and. Uh, Make sure you go to that. We're gonna like that. Tag two of your friends. Yeah, tag them all. Tag everybody, guys. And once we hit a thousand, we're gonna go ahead and give a free shirt in to somebody. We will send it out to you. EMC on the back of it it says Exotic Muscle Cars with YouTube on there. And uh, take a picture of that next. Check this out. X3M edition. I'll tell you what, I really love this. M power. Nothing beats that little M on your BMW right there, guys. All right. Finishing up BMW right behind there. We got some Range Rovers. We'll go take a look at those. Hey, uh, I forgot. I got kind of excited, and uh, I just put in the microphone, so I hope first part of this video you guys hear me well. If uh, not, hey, again, apologize. We were first coming here, so you know how it is. You come into your big car show. You get all kinds of excited. So uh, here we go. Take a look at these. Love those rims. It's really nice. Legendary Range Rover front end. All right, here's a very dark blue. I can't even imagine what it's going to look like, but it's super sharp. Killer rims on this. the interior on this they really are classy it's just sleek sharp plenty of room in the back seats it looks like 
I'd love to get one of these. Reviews. Again, here we go with this color. This seems to be a popular color of this show. And it's always the one that has the most people around it. I have no idea what the color is. We're going to take a look at it and see what it says. Okay, it looks like it's a fire and eyes red. Again, the rims are just beautiful. Range Rover, good job on the 2020s. Okay, we just heard there is a Ford GT, so let's all cruise on over here and check out the GT. Oh yeah, I see it now. It's funny. The eyes light up. Oh, there's a few of them. Yeah, I'm out here in our spot. Oh, here you go. Look at those. You have a spot right there. That's nice. Definitely a car we come and see. Those big Brembo bakes on it. Big air intakes. Got the wing, the wing out. That's nice. What? Oh no! This is not a Pagani right here. Are you kidding me? You know this is. There you go. Doesn't get better than this right here. Of course, I can't get close to it, but look at that blue interior. The gauge cluster is just incredible. That shifter, phenomenal, guys. This is such a beautiful car. It's just in awe. Look at the carbon fiber. It's blue carbon fiber. I don't know if you can pick that up there. Just the beauty. Gani Waira. Love that. Wish they opened the trunk and the hood. All right, this Pagani is brought to you right there. Allen J Automotive Network, there in Sebring, Florida. Hey guys, if you're watching this, you happen to see it, if somebody wants to put it over to them, give me a ride in the Pagani. Let me film that. Let's do a car review on the Pagani. We would love to do that. Exotic muscle cars, come on, let us do it. You gotta give it to us, guys. It's exotic muscle car right there. Go ahead, guys. If you like this so far, give us a like. Give us a like on this one. And somebody please talk to them. I want to get into that opera. There you go, you got a Wraith. Special lease deal on that for $3,099. Family Bottega there. Pretty nice SUV. Craftsmanship in this is just phenomenal. And this comes up to the new Karma. I gotta tell you, this is pretty sharp. All electric. Not a bad looking car at all. It's pretty solid tires for being electric, right? Huge brakes on it. Oh, it is a four-door. I didn't notice that. Wow, look at that, guys. Four-door Karma. So I can fit the back seat. So back seat time, you can really get in there. All right, looks like we're coming over to Jeep Nation with some done-up Jeeps, courtesy of Pirate Life Jeep Crew. Dude, that's pretty cool. I like their name. Yeah, that's a nice-looking Jeep there. This Jeep is sharp. Yeah, look at that. They did really good with this Jeep, guys. Solid. Nice. By far, this is the baddest Jeep I think I've seen. This looks pretty tough. Mad Max edition. <laughs> Mad Max edition, Tommy says. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Looks like it's been shot up. I mean, they're not. These are bolts. Jeep's thrown down here, let me tell you. 
these cool lights. Tail light covers, that's bad. Oh, Dodge Power Wagon, guys. Yep, I know, I have one, I love them. And, oh, hard bank, hard bank, hard bank. All right, let's see if we can go over to Traction Hill Climb in the Power Wagon. There you go. Come on, piece that out. You're a Power Wagon. It says it right there in the name. Power Wagon. Mopar, let's do this. Guys, my first love has always been Mopar. Although I have an appreciation for all kinds of vehicles, so I have to focus on this for a second. All right, where do you think to now, man? I don't know. There's so many damn cars to choose from. We got a couple of that GTR over there. I don't know. I wonder if they have a. Have you seen a 2020 Corvette here? I have not seen it. Anybody here well, know if there's a 2020 Chevy. Corvette yet? We haven't. You're right. We haven't Chevy seen Chevy. Chevy. No. Are you kidding me? Chevy should have like a huge display. It's Chevy. And you know, they need to sell some cars. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, see what we got here. Appropriate on this next deal. Guys, if you live in Florida, you know what that is right there. The <laughs> love drug problem. May and September, where are we at? September. Perfect time to bring out the love bug sales. Hellcat. Everybody say, Hemi! Lightning McQueen. None of these five. Love those tires, right? Look at them big. <laughs> little bald, right? <laughs> Somebody been doing burnouts? Huh? Yeah, you've been doing a burnout. <laughs> I'd bake these tires off too. Matter of fact, RRT used to bake them off. Oh, somebody's showing a little love to the Super B. <laughs> Tell me these freaking hoods weren't awesome. Little old Corvair. To me, right here, it's a nice 69 Chevrolet Camaro. This one is an RS model with a DZ302 motor. Guys, if you don't know what a DZ302 motor is, you need to look it up. That's what makes this vehicle valuable. Not many of those made. That small block put out a lot of power. And I'm not going to tell you the rest because I want you to go and look it up. Oh, what do we got there? Let's go back to the future. What do you think? A little DeLorean action? Go we'll find uh we'll find out. Oh. Hey, what's that? Is it Kiffin Doc? I don't remember. I don't know what it is. I don't know, let's go see. For me. So this is why I don't get the chargers. Alright. The new chargers and this is what the old chargers are. This what, 71 2? No, 70. I don't know, I think it's 72 R RT. But either way. Look at the design on this. No, it is a 71, my bad. Still, they didn't even come close to replicating this. Whereas, the Challenger at least replicates it. The Camaro replicates it. The Ford Mustang somewhat. But this one, nowhere near it. All right, guys, here we are. The DeLorean by AMC. This is John DeLorean made this car. He was a designer for years. Apparently he was a drug dealer too. We no one knew about. But it's the 81. It's all stainless steel. Which, I'm telling you, this was just like so cool. He was way ahead of his time. And uh, it's a shame what everything happened. But this car right here, honestly, can use a little bit more horsepower. And they, they really should be like hot right now. Because this is still, it's still bad. It's still bad. I don't care who you are. This is, this is an awesome car. Behind me we got the new Toyota 
2020 is the year, 86 is the model. What do you guys think of that? Not bad. But let's go take a look at what we want to see here. 2020 Super right here. Nice, huh? All right, here's a 2019 Camry Cup car. Nothing like a Camry, of course, you know that. <laughs> All Camry should have this in it. <laughs> and you made a really nice car. Stop. All right, right behind it, looks like this is the motor for it. Cool. Yeah, high rise intake. Get up into this. That's what you say. A four barrel carburetor. Like those braided lines on it. That's sharp too. Nice. FedEx, Toyota, Camry, Cup car. This will help keep shelter animals healthy. Increasing the chances of production. Please stop buying Caliber covers match, which is cool. Got little front end vents here. That front end looks super cool. It does kind of look tough, doesn't it, guys? What do you think? I think it looks tough. It's a nice little car. Well, it's a shame. Uh, the outside was great. I'd like to get it inside. It's so hard to get it in here, but you see that right there. Prototype vehicles are locked. So there you go, 2020 Supra. I think it's pretty sharp, guys. It's worth a look. And the base price on these things are really not bad at all. Sitting at just that $50,000. Might be uh, paying a premium somewhere because they are hot right now. People want them, they're hard to get. So uh, get out there, see if you can get one. Uh, there's little Subras. And some Kias over here. What's this? Not bad. What do we got here? What do you think? It looks like a Jag, huh? I think Kia copies everybody. Actually, it kind of does. I can see that. Yeah. Kia tossed a little bit of carbon fiber up on here. Kia, you step in your game up. Gotta like that. Okay, this here is a 2020 Telluride, which is named after a ski resort and city in Colorado. It's pretty cool. I guess they're uh, wanting you to take this and go skiing. Who knows? Kia, I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with Kias right now. It's not bad at all, guys. Not bad. Let's go take a look at that thing. This is uh, pretty well equipped at 48. That's not bad at all. Suggested retail price is 43.4. Really good. It's got a heads-up display, Napa leather seat trim, cloth headliner. Ventil oh, the ventilated and heated seats, rain sensing uh, front windshield wipers. That package is too grand. That's really nice, guys. All right, let's uh, go up here and take a look at this. I don't know what That's that a, is. Three is it three wheeler? Yeah. Oh, come on, let's go check this out. That's really like a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. So it's a ride share similar to City Bike or um, Bird, and you would just rent it off the street. It's not for sale to the general public, but they're using it in Europe and Japan as of right now. Yeah. Okay. That's neat. <laughs> so instead of scanning a picture of a bicycle, I do this instead. Yeah. So you stay out of the elements. Yeah, have pedals? Oh, it's electric? 
Will I fit in this? You sure? I'm like 6'2", 220. What's it called? It's called the I-Road. I-Road, guys. All right, seriously, I need to find this because I want to try one. I, I feel a video coming on on this. Where can I get these? I need it. I even like the pink. Yes, I do. Don't try. So these are only available in Japan and Europe. They're like little rentals only. They're not meant for like uh, everything else. I guess in Japan they're going to be pretty good. I can see that happening over there. But uh, really cool idea, Toyota. I like that. Awesome. All right. So these are only available in Japan and Europe. They're like little rentals only. They're not meant for like uh, everything else. I guess in Japan they're going to be pretty good. I can see that happening over there. But uh, really cool idea, Toyota. I like that. Awesome. All right. Lambo's uh, tossing a few cars out here today. Here's the Evo if you guys follow my Instagram or you went ahead and did it for the giveaway. Exotic Muscle Cars 2019, you would see this vehicle right there. I went down and looked at it the other day. Channel needs this car right here. I need subscribers. This one. We need this car. Right, let's go take a look at some Aston Martins now. Right, I love the color on this Invora GT. This green is super sharp. With a nice carbon fiber hood. Comes right back down through the trunk. Beautiful. 120 grand, guys. Let me tell you what. Car is fast. It's quick. Handles great. Sounds good. They just don't get any respect out there. Guys should go drive this. If you're out there in the market, this is a great little exotic car. But. You gotta love the Vantage. Who doesn't love the Aston Martin Vantage? Beautiful. What a nice looking gray. If this was Dodge, it'd be like a destroyer gray. Beautiful car here. Look at that. Now we're over at convertible, which has a wood green back on it. Let me go to that. Let me get that in there. wood grain here on the back of the seats. Look at that ain't beautiful. What an exquisite interior. Simple but elegant. Just crazy beautiful. That is the new fit there? These back seats are probably cool. Yeah. 2020 Super Legera DBS. It's got 715 horsepower. 715. Yeah, all for $350,000. But with that, you get Austin Martin. This beautiful car. Look at the design. The front splitter, carbon fiber. rims are beautiful. Look at the size of the brakes on this car. The carbon fiber throughout here. The lines are just sleek and sexy. I love the door handles, how they're just pushed in. So it's just, uh, you know, part of you see the body lines on the car, nothing sticks out. That's phenomenal. Let's take a look at the boot. Let's see, yeah, it goes in the carbon fiber there. Beautiful tailpipes on that. This rear splitter looks really good on it. you can see in here. I'm not sure what color that is. Like a dark red maybe, dark tan. But it really looks good on this gray carbon fiber. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. That wraps it up. Guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. All of them. Yeah, all of them. That's right. This was the 2020 Orlando International Auto Show. Basically, it was a bunch of Orlando dealers uh, repping out their new cars or product lines out there. And I got to tell you, Chevy, I was disappointed in it because there was no yeah, 2020 the, Corvette. You got to be kidding me. GT Mustang. We had everything else except for that car. 2020 Supra. 
Oh well. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. Subscribe, thumbs up, smash that like button.